Hello and welcome back to another video on Gran Turismo Sport. Um, if you remember after the last update I took all the cars from the update around the Nürburgring for a lap. Uh, so given this is the new track that's been added, uh, Le Mans, uh, I'll just use standard time. I'm going to do the same. Take all the cars from the update around in their standard uh, tune and setup. No modifications being done. I have finally bought another one of them, uh, the Renault, but I won't take that. For the moment we'll start with the lowest powered car, which is in fact uh, a Fiat 500. So this could take quite a long time, given an LMP car does it in just over three minutes, uh, in the hands of a fast driver. Anyway. Once it's loaded up, we'll check all the settings and see what it does. This is the first car I'll have... Well, no, I took the Jag round here, didn't I, in the update video, but that wasn't a particularly fast lap. So I decided it was a good idea to turn ABS off on a controller, which I don't think I'll be doing again. ABS shall stay on default all the time. Traction control, however we definitely don't need in a 16 horsepower car but here we go so I'm playing on controller, Gran Turismo Sport wheel settings still need more they need to give us more room for adjustment Well, something slow like this would probably be okay with the settings I've got. Here we go. Oh, it takes so long for it to change gear. I'm starting to think this was a bad idea. I don't think how painful the mole sound straight is going to be. reason nobody has done this. Well, I doubt anybody's done this. It's going to struggle up the hill. Whoa! Changing down wasn't necessarily a good idea there. Need to have happened at some point around that corner. We're going to make it. Those gear changes are so slow. Right, going down the hill this time. Not at this point, that should give us a little bit more speed. 57. I'm going to flat out around there in this car. Not really a surprise, I think we're going to need... No, we don't quite need third gear. That was bad. That's going to have cost me time on an already slow lap. Right, let's attempt. Yeah, luckily the Molsan straight is slightly downhill. I'm not sure all of it is. Whether it's just this first section. Okay, we don't even have a fifth gear. Do we reckon we can hit the UK national speed limit of 70 miles per hour? I'm not sure we can. Oh no, now the speed's going down. Come on! Please say there's another downhill section. Well, we've crept up to 67 miles per hour again. 68. Come on. Two more miles per hour. Come on. Come on, I know it can do it. Nope, apparently not. Oh! We managed to slide a Fiat 500. 
That's what, surely I don't need to slow down for this. I think maybe I need third. Okay, not quite. I've made that mistake twice now. We're going to have to watch the replay of that corner. Because who doesn't want to watch the sort of replay angle of a Fiat 500 drifting? That was amazing. It's nice with this pale blue with the red, red leather interior here. Not quite sure if it fits with my purple driving suit, but... Oh! I'm in a wall. Well, I'm not quite in a wall. I'm nearly in a wall. So we've already taken longer. Well, that's about the time it would take me to get an LMP1 car around here. I'm not even at the second chicane on the straight. Nice and gently does it around here. Let's try not to... Okay, third gear again was a mistake. I'll probably just keep it in fourth most of the way round actually. Apart from the tight corner at the end here. I might need to slow down a bit for that. At least I didn't take it around the Nürburgring. Given a fast car is, what, six minutes, no, two minutes around there. Because I was wondering whether to take all the new cars around the Nürburgring again, but I thought, as this is a new track, it might be more interesting to do that. Of course, it means we can't compare them to the cars from the previous update. A one-meg race around here in Fiat 500 would be a bit of fun, wouldn't it? Might be slow, but at least with other cars on the track it would give, give you something to do, somebody to race against. Just slowly going around like this is just, ah, come on. Hybrid, yeah, that, that would be faster. Any kind of Toyota hybrid, even a Prius would be faster. Oh, come on, are we going to hit 70 this time? We can't hit it along here, we're not going to. 68 again. Slow it down a little bit round here. Okay, it said fourth, turns out we need third. I kind of lost control of a Fiat 500, is that possible? And third again round here, didn't need to break. A shame. A few little things like that have cost me quite a lot of time because it takes so long to get your speed back up. Yeah. This is actually the first time I've driven this car. You can see the little mileometer there. 6.8 miles. So we can actually see how long this track is on there as well as. Obviously, we can look at the official length of it anyway. curves flat out will not be a problem for this car. <laughs> I 
an amazing car. It can take all of these flat out. That's better than an LMP1 car can do. You have to slow down in one of them to avoid going straight off around here. Now, can we hold fourth around here? Normally, you'd have to a little touch of the brakes, maybe shift down a gear around here in most cars. No, the Fiat has no problem. It can go flat out everywhere. Making sure we're using the curbs on the exit. Get as much speed as possible out of the corner. I don't think that quite matters in this car. <laughs> using all of the road like that. Slow down a little bit here. Oh, oh, that's kind of cutting the corner. Oh, shifting up a gear is so painful. It takes so long. We're nearly across the line. It's not going to be under... It is under nine minutes. Yes. I thought it wasn't even going to be under nine minutes there. And brake turn. Can we do donuts? Didn't think so. I think we need to see the replay of that corner though. But yeah, 8.59. Under 9 minute lap. That's a good, that's a good starting point. I don't think anything we're going to drive around here is going to be over 9 minutes. What class is this car? N100, so it's the lowest N class. Anyway, let's watch some of this lap. Can we fast forward? We want to see it going down the straight, really, don't we? That's when it. If we start from about here. It's this first chicane. Yeah, I'll just quickly show you a replay of that and of the other corner where I had a nice bit of a slide. And then we'll leave it there until the next lap. I'll probably be doing another lap in a car on here tomorrow. So, watch out for that. Nearly there though. Nearly at that first chicane. Look <laughs> how tight the car looks for a driver to sit in. It's not got much room there. Is this the first chicane? Have we reached the first chicane? We have. Here we go. Look! That was less spectacular than I thought. It looked quite good. Where's the next place where I slid? That wasn't the end of the straight. That corner I did relatively well. I think it was at Indianapolis, wasn't it? Here we go. Are you ready for this corner? Replay angle hasn't got it. Yes, it has. Yeah, that, that was a bit more spectacular. <laughs> anyway, that's a lap of uh, Circuit de la Sarthe in a Fiat 500. If anybody wanted to see that. But yeah, thank you very much for watching. Like if you did enjoy a rather slow lap today. Uh, and subscribe for more because I will be doing more laps around here in the coming days.